Okay, so this is a super random segment to throw in here, but I had some ribs that I barbecued in the oven last night. So I'm going to make some homemade barbecue beans. I kind of looked up a few recipes and, you know, just come up with <laughs> my own conclusion on how I wanted to do them. So it's just a super quick explanation. I've got one pound of navy beans. Navy beans, I believe, is what baked beans are, but you could really use any bean. And then I'm going to do a third a cup of brown sugar. You could also just skip a lot of these ingredients and just add barbecue sauce. But I'm just trying to try something new. And I thought with summer months coming up and a lot of people grilling and stuff, this might be something handy. So anyways, got the beans, third a cup of sugar. I'm going to do one tablespoon of honey Dijon mustard, one six ounce can of tomato paste, uh, black pepper to taste one tablespoon of liquid smoke and then i think this yeah one teaspoon of balsamic vinegar or um, apple cider vinegar but this is just what i had and then i ideally i would like to have more bacon but <laughs> i have this in the fridge anyway so this is about two strips of bacon that i'm going to chip up but i would say you could use as much as i don't know a third or a half a pack of bacon but I'm going to toss all of this in the crock pot and I'll let y'all know how much water I add and how long I cook it. Okay, so I hope y'all can hear me. <clears throat> I keep having my voice cut out this morning and also the air is on. I closed the vent off because it's right here and it's really loud. Yeah, basically this is going to be like a dump and go. A lot of people actually make their sauce for their beans and then do it that way. But I just realized I also forgot an onion, so I'm going to grab that. Okay, so first off, I always do this, I'm getting ahead of myself trying to hurry, is to rinse your beans. So, I'm going to pour them in here. We've got like an hour and a half before we leave, but I'm over here like flying through the morning. So those are rinsed. I'm just going to put them directly into the crock pot. And then the third cup of brown sugar, I'm just going to toss on top. And I'm going to mix this together. I saw a lot of the recipes said like to make your sauce and then layer your ingredients and not cook it. But I'm just going to mix it. Like, I mean, Worst case scenario, it doesn't come out that great. We'll figure it out. Oh. Yeah, that is milk. And then I'm going to do one teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. One tablespoon of liquid smoke. If y'all have been around my channel for a while, any savory dish just about gets liquid smoke. It makes it taste grilled and just gives it a deeper flavor and a lot of times I end up adding more of this whether I remember to say it or not just because it's a preference and then one tablespoon of Dijon mustard I have honey Dijon but you can just use that or I think you can even use plain mustard so I got about a tablespoon there I'm gonna toss that in and then the whole can of tomato paste I did also see a lot of people use ketchup to tomato paste What's the matter? Yeah, I'm just trying to cook a deal. Uh, a deal. <laughs> a meal. Black pepper, never really measure that. I just do it to taste. And if it needs more, I'll add it at the end. And the bacon, I'm just going to rip up. Normally I would chop it, but trying to hurry up anyway so okay I gotta get an onion so I thought I had one yellow onion which is what I primarily cook with but it's not any good so luckily I have a red onion I'm gonna put probably half of this but again this is to taste so you could really put the whole thing but I'm just gonna do half and chop it up So that's about half of a average size onion or a third of a large one, but to taste is preference. Um, my husband does not really like onion. He likes it cooked into stuff. So at the end, if it needs more of that flavor, and I'm sure I will have to add stuff to it, 
I'll just add some onion powder, but I'm just tossing everything in the crock pot and then mix it together, add some water, and then when we get back, we'll see what we have. And a lot of the recipes did not say to add water, which I thought was really weird, <laughs> but I'm adding water. So this is six cups of water directly in the pot. And then I'm gonna stir it. And I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and add like one um, more cup of water or so because I want to make sure there's enough liquid since I am going to leave the house. So about seven cups of water is what I added. And I'm just stirring it all really good trying to break down that tomato paste a little bit. And just by looking at it and smelling it, I actually I changed my mind. I'm going to go ahead where it can cook into it and add about half a cup of barbecue sauce. I buy the Great Value brand because it tastes pretty good and it's the cheapest. And this one is the um, original one, but we eat them all. They have one that's like a spicy something that I like. So this is half a cup going right in there with it. I noticed a lot of recipes called for uh, molasses as well or dark corn syrup, but I would just rather use the barbecue sauce than that. Y'all can hear Miss Boss in there adding her two cents in on the vlog. Okay. Now I'm going to cover, put it on low, and probably let it cook, I'm guessing, six hours. Okay, we're home now, and the beans have been cooking for about five and a half hours, and I think I'm going to let them cook for another hour, but they smell really good. I've got to go <laughs> check the beans in the crock pot. I tasted them. They tasted really good, but I actually needed to cook them one more hour. So also ended up adding more barbecue sauce so that it, the sauce is completely to taste. So towards the end, you can taste and see if it needs more. I'm going to say probably a good three quarters of a cup to a cup is good. And um, yeah, I think that was all I was trying to remember to say. Okay.